I'm, I'm, I'm cutting up. Okay, I'm cutting up. Damn. Like, hey. <laughs> All right. I don't well, even listen to this. Oh, it's not my show. You know, it's so funny because I literally, <laughs> literally dropped a video today and my friend did the same exact thing. Anyway. Oh, God. Hello. How you doing, y'all? How you doing? My name is Terrence Mack, also known as Millennial Mack, and welcome to Let's Talk. I have an awesome guest here, the one and only rapper that I know, mm. Daniel. Mm. My guy, mm. introduce yourself so they can mm. know who you are. What's going on? My name is Daniel Tatami, also known as the artist formerly known as Danny Tatami. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. So, rap up. Yeah. Okay. And... Yeah. Yeah. I was just on your show. Oh, talk show host. Talk show host. Yeah. What tell us? Yeah. Who, who, yeah. Come on now, I'm out. I'm um, out. So the sit down with Danny Tatami is uh, my talk show. It's my platform on YouTube. So you guys need to check Terrence out because he was on my show and hey. now I'm on his That's his right. channel. So you know, people have people's proper stuff. That's right. That's yeah. right. Awesome. Yeah. So. I'm glad that you're here. Yeah. You know, I love having rappers come on my channel. And okay. I like okay. y'all know what we do. We keep it real, raw, organic. Y'all mm. already know what it is. Mm. So the very first question that I always ask people is, okay. how did you come to know Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh violin starts playing. It was a summer night in 19. No, my dad's a pastor. Oh, you PK. Wow, so, what a surprise. No PK. I have all these PKs come on here. Goodness. You have more PKs on the Too show? many to count. Too yeah. many to count, yeah. But I love it. I love PKs. They're all yeah. nice. Interesting people. They all know how to sing or something musically inclined. They all got something like that. Yeah, because your your parent is a pastor and it's just like, we need it. We need musicians. Right. Who better to look for it right. than like the offspring? So my dad's <laughs> a pastor. Um, and so I grew up, you know, in the church or like being around mm -hmm. the church and stuff like that. But I didn't really start getting serious about a personal relationship until like 29, 28 years old. Wow, 29, 28. But you look 29, 28. Wait, hold on. How old are you? You know, 35. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Black don't crack, do huh? It don't. Wow, look at no you. No gray hairs. <laughs> no gray hairs. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know why. I don't know wow, why. okay. I'm trying to keep the stress on this about it. Um, That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you grew up as a PK yep. and you didn't get serious till 29. That's yeah. a long time. That's a long time. That's long two time. decades and then you finally decided to get it right. Yeah, so, but hey, not that there is a know, time limit. Let's be real. But like, I don't yeah. know. Sometimes I feel like from the outside looking in, like you grew up in a churchy, like right. whatever. Right. Um, and like your dad. So like people assume that PK is supposed to have it all together. No. But no, no sometimes they be... That we they be the worst ones. You know what? And, 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 oh, no. The you. reason why the stereotype is they were the worst ones is because of the, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, people expect you to, like, know it. You know what I'm oh, saying? God. Because you grew up so close to it. But no one, no one knows it. It's just the expectation. So whenever a preacher's kid does something, it's just, like, ten times magnified. Because, oh, you should know better. Right. Did you know better? Oh. But so it's just like, you know, we just do our thing. Um, and I had a son. So when my son was born, I wanted him to lead a certain type of life. And then I was convicted because God was like, well, you got to do it. So like, not to say mm. I even got it right, but it's just that, you know, that started the journey. That I wow. So, yeah. I tell people sometimes having a kid, you know, can really wake you up. Oh, like I does. talk to, so, I mean, I mean, I don't have any kids yet. Mm. Um, that's the goal, you know. Obviously, you'd be married first, <laughs> but anyway, that's for another day. Um, like I definitely think that you know when you have kids, and I talk to so many people, like it was child, right. what till I started having babies? Well, I was like, right. I need to get my life right. right. Like I hear the same thing over and over again. So, mm -hmm. I, I I see that you grew up, you know, you end up having a kid, and then you want to grow up with God, and right. obviously you are <laughs> right with God. Um, <laughs> that even makes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all don't even know what time it is right now. This man's supposed to be here two hours earlier, but you know what? It's okay. Ah, two hours? Actually, a week earlier. A week earlier, but it's okay. It's okay. So, 
<laughs> for me, when I first met you, right. it was actually it was actually at church. Mm-hmm. Like I met you at a church service. Right. You were rapping, mm-hmm. and I remember you were like you were killing it on the mic. Like, <laughs> you, know? you really were. Like you, you was know? rapping about prices. I, I, I appreciate I, it. You know. <laughs> and I want to know how did you how did you even get involved in the rap? Like have you always been a rapper? Um, did you want to do rap? Did God tell you to do rap? Like what what happened? Uh did God tell me to do rap? Wow, that's a that's a question right there. I, I mean, I always ra- I started rapping at seventeen. I wrote out okay. a, I wrote a a, um, a tele a, t- a, t- a TV show because I'm into anime, so I wrote out this TV show. It was a cartoon, and I wanted the <clears> intro <throat> to the cartoon. You remember Static Shop? Yeah, of course. Exactly. Yeah. So Lil Romeo did the intro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was okay. like, I want an intro for my anime for my cartoon, so I rapped it. I made a rap, hey. and so my I know my brother here, my older brother. And he was like, oh, okay, you want to come to the studio? Because he was rapping at the time. So, like, I was like, oh, yeah, you know. So, I was, I came to the studio, did my first rap in the studio. It was horrible. I was nervous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then, you know, after that, I was just like, yo, I want to get good at it. I, I aspired to be, like, the Jay-Z of Orlando. You know, like, oh, literally, wow, Jay-Z yeah. was like, you know, that, 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 that. Hey, he was running rap at the time. So, you know, you want to be like Jay-Z, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. I just strove for that. And then, when I, well, my first attempt at at repentance, I was 18, and my brother had a show. So, he was like, hey, you rap, you know? And, and at that time, I was, like, transitioning a little bit. So, right. I just stopped playing so much. And I wanted to take, you know, try to take God seriously. And uh, he was like, my old, one of my older brothers, he was doing a show at a church. And he was like, hey, come out and rap at the show. I was like, all right, you know. So, you know, I wrote a rap, and I was on stage performing the rap. I did, like, half the song, and the church cut the music off. was like, oh, no, we don't do that in the church. It was it was all Ooh. clean stuff. You know, I was talking about God, but I had did a dance track. Mm. It was called Shoulder Swing. That was a dance. And I was, like, using the rap to convey, like, what the dance meant, which was, like, shrugging off life and issues and any hardships, stuff like that, and just letting God take care of you. But, you know, they didn't, like... The way it was being the delivered. Hoppity, hoppity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there were rappers that rapped before me. Wow. But they weren't crunk like me, though. Like, I had everybody dancing. I had people jumping on stage. Oh, for real? Yeah, I turned it up. Oh, we we turned up. Yeah, that's <laughs> Okay. And so they cut the music off and kicked me out of the church. And so I was just like, I ain't rapping in the church no more. So that was church hurt? Was that church hurt? Uh, I, at the time, I didn't look at this church hurt. I was just like, well, the church don't want to hear it. So I, I was like, I'm making music for the street. It was still clean. But I said, I'm just going to perform in the streets. I went to clubs, performed at nightclubs, performed just out hotels. I was just performing everywhere but the church. Wow. But it was still clean pot. Yeah. Clean pot. yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, you know, you're being a light in a dark place, you know. And you were, you said that you were doing Trying. Christian rap in yeah. the club? Oh, yeah. Nightclubs, all of that. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Go I'm out. Outing. Go out into the world outing. and make disciples, huh? You know what I'm saying? Wow. Rapping like people talking about everything. The devil worshiper went on before me, and then I went on after him. So that was a weird transition. Ooh. My, my, my. <laughs> that audience was all awesome. show. You're talking, <laughs> you're talking about all type of stuff. Conjuring demons. But, you know, I was like, man, you know, I'm out here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so then what made you, like, get back? Because, I mean... If you were rapping in a church, right. and then they were like, uh-uh, we ain't doing that. Y'all having right. too much fun. Too much fun and sand. Too much fun. I'm just kidding. But, um, and you stopped, so you started doing rap at, like, yeah. clubs and stuff like that. So what led you back to where I saw you? Because you were back um, in church. Well, a funny thing is, the church that kicked me off stage invited me back, like, years later. What? And I would, I would go to their youth events, like, every year. for like. And, wow. And they actually paid me to come out and perform. Years later, so that was like a redemption story in itself. But um, testimony. I was just like, man, I didn't stop. Like, it, to me, like, I mean, I, I wanted to be better than Jay, as good as Jay Z. So I was like, I didn't stop doing music, and I'm like, I'm still pursuing it. And this is opportunity. So like, you never want to allow your pain to to like hold you back from opportunities because you right. never know. So like, you over right. here being hurt about it, they don't even care no more. You know, they kicked me off stage. And they didn't even know who I was, which was funny. I mean, they knew my last name, Tatami. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, if, if there ain't a lot of Tatami. I mean, if someone's last name is Tatami, they related to me. Like, it's just not a common last name. Yeah. So, like, I mean, they, they knew who my dad was and stuff like that. So, 
it was crazy, but you know, I didn't stop. I didn't stop. And I was like, well, so it wasn't like I'm, I'm not going to go to any church anymore. Mm-hmm. If you invite me to come out, I'm still going to do it. But it was, just, it just wasn't for them. It wasn't for that time frame. You know, it wasn't for those people wow. and they couldn't see it. So I, I didn't really care. Um, but in a life period, you got to have tough skin, man. Like you just got to right, have it. Right, right, right. If you want to make it, especially what we do, like and it, we're opening ourselves up to people's opinion. You yeah, know, no, I know that a long I've time had ago. I people comment on my songs, like, oh, this ain't for God, this doesn't, like, all that type of stuff. But, I mean, so. <laughs> that could be my pride, arrogance, you know, that could no, be all type what? of stuff. But I want to say, like, so. I've said this so many times before, yeah. like, I had a rapper come on not too long ago, and I remember me, myself, when I started my walk, I uh, got my life to God when I was 19, mm-hmm. and I thought I had to do away with all rap. You know what I mean? Because it's like that religious mindset. And for those right. that do not know, like religious is more of like man-made stuff, not even really biblical at all. Right. Um, and so basically, I thought I had to get rid of all that. Like, you know, mm-hmm. no rap, just only gospel. You know what I mean? Like, only gospel. Ooh, that would be tough. You know what I mean? And the thing is, the thing about a religious, mm-hmm. like, I don't want to get so deep, but, you know, we get deep. A religious <laughs> spirit is that it's really it's really bondage and it's oh, yeah. because it, it basically takes away your freedom right. of expressing God in the avenue that God wants you to. Like me, I you know, big personality, I want to right. act, I want to do this, but I thought I couldn't do that anymore because you know, I was serving the Lord. Mm. You know what I mean? And like mm. no, God God is not big on changing personalities. God is big on changing character. Right. That's one thing that I learned. So, when it came to like Christian rap, I was like, right. "Uh-uh, no, they're just trying to they just trying to mm-mm, no, it's that the hip hop belongs to the devil. Right. Blah blah blah. I can't do that. Crazy. But then exactly, which is crazy. But the thing is, now that like I, you know, I've gained more knowledge because right. you know I had a lot of zeal, but I lacked knowledge. Mm. Um. So and preach. Hey, come on, somebody. So with that, I learned that you can't cap God no. in a music genre. God is not only seen in gospel. Right. Like, you know what I mean? That's like saying God is only seen in the church. No, it's not. God is seen in plays. God is seen in TV shows. God can be seen in many, many ways. Right. Um, especially through Christian rap, too. Because some people aren't going to turn on Tasha Cobbs. No. I know <laughs> like, so. You know what I mean? Some people will <laughs> not turn. Exactly. Right. But they will listen to Christian rap. Yeah. They will vibe to that. And those were, I remember when I really started listening to it. Like, I was like, man, like, Lecrae, like, back, back, the old Lecrae. Um, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of his new stuff, but I really like the old Lecrae a lot. Like, I really, like, the <laughs> stuff that he would say, I'm like, yo, yeah. this man was speaking facts. Right. Like, oh my gosh. And I was like, this is ministry. Like, he was ministering to me, right. you know, vicariously through his music. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I give up and respect to, like, a lot of Christian rappers because... I can only imagine, like, the, the religious church folk would be like, oh, no, yep. you don't know what you're talking about, and you need to step down, and you need to go be an usher. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I bet that, how long did that, does it still happen now? Like, how long did that last? Or are people now being more awake and more open to allowing the Christian? Like, what does that look like now? Um, there's a lot of people that still don't rock with Christian hip hop. They don't get it? Yeah. And, 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 and uh, it's, just, it's just like... You know, even even within Christian hip hop, other Christian rappers just being like extra hard, like, oh, if you don't rap this way, or if your content doesn't sound like this, it's not about God. Mm. Like, if you're not rapping scriptures, if you're not saying Jesus in every other word, if I, if, if, if like <laughs> this funny. isn't about God, like, and I'm just like, how is it not about God? And I'm talking my life, and I'm a follower of Christ, so people judge you according to mm-hmm. how revelatory your content is. Like, for me. Um, I make music like you're not there's people that turn on my music and they're listening to it and you know we're rapping about it they're listening to I've, I've been at uh, the gas station and I'm jamming my music I mean whatever you yeah know, I jam my own music we're not going to get on a subway sandwich maker for being at home and making a sandwich so I should be able to play my own music right yeah wow that was my act skills you seen that <laughs> <laughs> this man is a mess y'all so mess i'm listening to my music how you spell mess D A N I E L. stop oh no it's fine man <laughs> and so i'm listening to my music at the gas station and someone comes up and like oh who is that and i was like that's me and i was like oh snap that's you and i was like yeah so we're sitting at the car just listening to the music 
And then um, he heard me say, I said Jesus in the song. And he was like, you said Jesus. And he was like, are you a Christian? And I was just like, yeah. This is Christian rap? And I was like, yeah. You know, so it's just like one of those things to me where like, you know, I, I'm not, I make music from where I am. So if I'm going through something or if I overcame something or whatever I'm going through, I make life music about where I'm at right now. You know, sometimes you'll hear Jesus in it, sometimes it's not going to be. But like, I'm not trying to prove to any listener my relationship with Christ. Like, listen to my music. If you like the content, if I vibe with you, cool. If not, don't sit here and bash it and say it's not about God because I didn't put Jesus in it or there's not a scripture verse being referenced in it. It's life music. So every single day as a believer in Christ, sometimes we have victories, sometimes we have defeats. And I just express my life on track, you know? Um, and I don't think people should judge a person's relationship based off of the content that they produce mm. because it's a heart issue and you can't see my heart. No one can see anyone's heart. That's for God to judge. You know, that's not that's for man great. to do. So I feel like when it comes to Christian hip hop or any type of genre of music, not just Christian hip hop, because if you have a singer, you want to make music and you're like, hey, I hear how they're doing it, but I don't want to do it like that. You shouldn't have to create from where God asked you exactly. or led you to create from. Yeah, so. absolutely. No, and hey, you, you make a lot of sense, man. Like yeah. you really do. And I think at the end of the day, God wants us to worship him the way that he created us to right. worship him. My right. worship isn't going to be rap. Like, you know what I mean? My worship is going to be playing my acoustic guitar, singing, you know, worship music unto God. Like, that's just me. But yours could be through rap. God gave us individual gifts and talents for a reason, to be different. And, yeah, you know what that's I mean? true. And I'll say this one more last thing, too. Even when it comes to that, like, uh, you know, if a person puts, like, heavy Jesus-centered content, you know, uh, or, or, you know, um, content within their music or whatever it is they're doing, it doesn't mean that they have a relationship with Christ. No. Oh. Oh. You see what I'm saying? So, like, we shouldn't mm -hmm. be looking for how many times someone says Jesus or quotes scripture within their music to validate if they're a believer or not. You know? Because that doesn't mean anything. That goes back to what you were saying about earlier about religion. Yeah, you know what bro. I'm saying? About appearing holy and not truly being holy. So, like, I don't think that we should get caught up on that. People do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People do. Um, for me, the thing is, man looks at the outer appearance. Yeah, and God looks and, and God looks at the heart. Yeah, and God looks at the heart, and you can't fault people for that because they're gonna do it, whatever. But for me, oh, yeah. it's like, you know, you kind of just have to, like I said, you got to create from where God convicts you and where He leads you to create. Some people don't want to do that because it makes them feel like they're in a the box. For me, I just stopped caring. It took a while. For me to stop, because I'm like, man, I want to make sure I'm saying God. I want to make sure. Mm -hmm. But I had to get out of that. And I just stopped caring. I just. Right. Whatever. Now I'm going to create. Do I, I mean, you can hear it now. Like, my music has taken a huge turn. Really? Just, oh, yeah, bro. I just, I, I just create now. I don't write anymore. Let's go in the booth, play, boom, and I just. Improv? Improvise? There just, we go. Just like that. Just like improv. Hit, just like hit, that. hit the okay. space bar. Let's record. All right. So. From my understanding, have you taken a back burner on music right now and solely, like, started solely um, focusing on, you know, your channel and what mm -hmm. you do? Like, like what, what is the transition now? Like, um, I still drop music. I got some more music coming out. Um, not a project. I did, I, I have a whole album that I just had to mix and master. I have a whole album. Okay. Just like I'm, I'm telling you, these, like, artists, they always be having, like, yeah, man, I actually got a whole album right now that I ain't produced <laughs> yet, oh, but yeah, I'm like, what? Well, it's recorded. Everything is there. Like, but you know what? I get it. I it's totally just time. Get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. And I want to. I want to make music. I want to focus. Um, I'm focusing on the channel now, so music is kind of like, it's not on pause because I'm still releasing singles. I'm still releasing singles, so it hasn't gone anywhere because I, I just, I just love. It. So the channel then. The channel. How's the channel. Like, talk to me about the channel. The channel. The sit down. The sit down with Daniel Tadmi. That's the channel right there. Um, it's dope, man. I spent like a few years just researching YouTube and I, I entered into YouTube doing a lot of different things. I, we had, uh, the Tatami show on the Tatami's YouTube channel. So we had the Tatami show was doing that. Then, you know, it took a lot of work to move it at that time in my life. I, I couldn't really be consistent on it. Then I did Daniel Tatami. I was dropping music videos, dropping music and stuff like that. Didn't have the consistency built up to keep it going. And then the sit down came. Mm. Now that, you know, and I did a lot of homework on YouTube, man. Just researching YouTube, 
and the way you have to drop and the consistency, you know, to display. Very important. And because you have to be consistent. People forget oh, about yeah. you. They'll yes, forget they about you, man. Um, but that is has been doing pretty dope. We're almost up to two hundred subs, which is a lot of work. Hey. Subs is like it's a lot of work. YouTube is work. Show sure is. So come on, y'all. I'm, I'm, but it's dope. two years in the game. And it's fun. <laughs> and it's fun. It's not I, I love it. I love doing yeah. it. And you met a lot of people doing it, right? Yeah, heck yeah. We have a different exactly. guest every week. So I got to be talking to people. I got to be inboxing them, talking to them, getting on the phone with them. Oh my gosh, bro. And it's fun, right? You enjoy it. Is it. Fun. it is so fun. is this something that like, just like you just wanted to do or like, like how did um, it? Because like, I mean, I get it. Like you had other things in mind, but it, like, right. it finally just came together. Right, right. It's, it's one of those things where like, it did just happen. And it did come together, but I feel like, and, and it did it organically, so I feel like it's going to stick. I really do believe that. I mean, we're, we're, all, we're, we're here to stay. The sit down and go on nowhere. That's right. Come Number on. one show in Orlando. What? That's what I'm okay. saying. Number one talk show. <laughs> well, Millennial Mac, let's talk is it. Number two, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. You got the number one talk show, too. <laughs> hey, okay, so we all know. We, we all know. There can only be one, number one. Mm. And if you ain't Dang first, you're last. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> nah, no, bro. Like, that's, 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 it's to me, that's not cocky or confident. I don't know. It could be. God could be working on my heart still. You have confidence. Yeah. Ah. 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 Hey, confidence. Yo. Because I know that God mm. is giving me this mm. platform. You know Bishop. What I mean? You know, God is giving me Bishop Williams. There you go. You know, he's giving mm. me my other characters too, but the main character mm. that I like to lead with, if you put your hand down, that's, that's the, the main character. character. <laughs> <laughs> the main character I like to lead with is Bishop, and I know mm. that God has given me that, you know, character, and he's given me this platform for a reason, right. you know what I mean? Right. Um, so where can everybody find you, find your info, find your music, find all that oh, stuff? Oh, man, uh, Danny Tatted me. You can Google me. Wait, hold on. Be careful on Googling me. Uh-oh. Be careful. I have a pass. No, I'm just playing. You can Google Danny Tatter me. <laughs> you gotta tell me he gave his life to me for a reason. Eh? Hey, there's only one Danny Tatter. Listen, and that's a blessing within itself because it made branding easy. I mean, you that's can awesome. YouTube Danny Tatter me, Facebook, Instagram. I just started TikTok. I gotta do better on TikTok though. Hey, I just started get on TikTok. It. Get on um, it. Anything Danny Tatter me. YouTube is to sit down at Danny Tatter. Well, to sit down with Danny Tatter me. But if you YouTube Danny Tatter me. It's gonna come up. So, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys heard it from Daniel, my guy. If you have anything, any questions or whatnot, just wanna put down below. Any other suggestions, anything for the uh, Let's Talk? You know, because, you know, we do it a bit on Let's Talk. Let me tell you something. We be talking, talking, you know, we talk, talk, talk. Anyways, mm -hmm. you can put that below in the description. Oh my goodness. You can put that below in the comments box. And thank you so much for coming on. Make sure, guys, to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.